And then I'll uh, leave the floor to Olaf from uh, Ledcold, Blykalla. Yes. Perfect, Olaf, we see it very well. Okay. Good. <clears throat> uh, so uh, we are a startup from KTH uh, doing small modular reactors. And uh, lead cold is because we use lead as a coolant. So our uh, mission is clean and reliable energy for future generations. I underline reliable because this is base load power. So it's not intermittent and uh, it's zero emission uh, of any form. Uh, so it's uh, as clean tech as it gets. Uh, if you look at, uh, if you worry about CO2, uh, then um, nuclear is by far the lowest impact. Uh, and this, of course, the only CO2 of nuclear is uh, construction and mining. And in between biomass and coal is gas somewhere in the middle, but it didn't fit in the picture. So uh, our product uh, will be the, the best reactor ever uh, called Sealy 55 because it's 55 megawatt electric. Um, it's a lead fast reactor. Uh, fast is good because it means we can recycle the fuel forever. Um, it's small, uh, five by five meter, five uh, meter diameter, which means we can uh, mass manufacturing in a factory and transport on trucks. Uh, importantly, because it's uh, not water cooled like uh, all reactors today, uh, the steam is uh, 530 degrees, which means we can use it for biofuel to uh, produce by uh, yeah, uh, all sorts of biofuel and hydrogen production as well, uh, very efficiently. Uh, we, we never refuel it in practice. It runs 25 years on one fuel load. It's passively safe, so it doesn't matter what happens. It will never have uh, any security issues. Uh, as I said, it's um, uh, a generation four, so we can re recycle the fuel forever without any waste. Uh, <clears throat> and mass production starting 2030. And the product slogan we have is atomic simplicity because uh, uh, the, the simple things work better. So we try to simplify. Here is uh, the, the building is quite small for this. Uh, we plan to put, since it's only five, 55 megawatt, uh, we will in almost all cases uh, sell uh, maybe a six pack or 12 pack of these into bigger building. But this is what a single unit would look like. And it's all underground. So even if uh, an airplane flies into this, uh, it will not enter into the reactor confinement. Uh, the energy market is by far the, the, the biggest um, market by value in the world. <clears throat> energy is indeed the, the basis of everything in for civilization. Uh, without energy, you don't get enough, fo enough food. Without enough food, you cannot reproduce. So that's the order. Energy, food, reproduction. Uh, and uh, then we, we can address, um, uh, well, it, it's practically all fossil based now, 83%. Only 4% is, uh, uh, nuclear based so it's and then the interesting thing is uh, people think uh, nuclear is only for electricity but uh, um, actually the energy market is seven times bigger so it's a tremendous market uh, there, there is no better market uh, at all because there is a lot of growth as well people will need food, but they will not eat more food. But energy consumption goes up in um, parallel with uh, uh, civilization. And then uh, I, I spoke about reliable energy. 
renewables, uh, solar and wind are uh, intermittent, so unplannable. So the, uh, the only thing that happens, solar and wind is good, but uh, if the, the, there is a parallel process. As soon as you build solar and wind, you have to back it up 100% uh, because uh, you cannot store energy in large scale. Uh, so base load has to be always on. So you have two options, burn stuff, gas, coal, oil, wood, garbage, like Vattaverk in Stockholm, huge polluter, or nuclear. Hydropower is excellent, but it cannot be expanded. So the, the without pollution, nuclear is the only alternative for expansion. Uh, here are the, the various te technologies and the most compact, as you can see, is lead. Uh, water is available now, but it's, well, it's uh, everything has been water since the 50s, pretty much. Uh, but lead cool was used by the Russians since the 50s as well, uh, but it never took off because of the uh, corrosion problem. Uh, now we have solved the corrosion problem, so uh, we, um, think we can dominate the market with, with this reactor. Uh, we have a customer who has an option to buy 250 units at 2 billion crowns each. So that's 0.5 billion or that's a trillion in English. I, I wrote uh, in Swedish because it's very confusing otherwise. Uh, either way, it's 57 billion for the value if, if they uh, fulfill this option. Uh, we have the patents here, which are necessary uh, uh, metallurgical patents. And the fuel as well. Sorry, this animation, I didn't realize it, it was animated. Anyway, I include this because People can go back and have a look at it. Uh, so we have uh, six granted uh, or pending patents for the value of the company. This is what the reactor building components are. Uh, we, we, for the prototype and the demonstration reactor, uh, we have a, a great partner in, in Uniper. Uh, which is owned by um, Fortum and it's the, their subsidiary Sydkraft. So we, we build the prototype in Oskarshamn. And Uniper is also a 5% shareholder in, in Leadcold. And then the founders, Jan and Peter, and I, I'm not a founder, but I'm an investor so far. Uh, development schedule. Development status. So, conclusion atomic power is the solution to everything. Yeah, that's eight minutes and one second. <laughs> Thank you, Olaf. Thank you very much. Uh, we got some questions actually. Uh, first, I have one. Uh, so, the status right now, you said 2030. Uh, this could be ready for market, right? Yeah. Uh, and right now you're building the first actual prototype, uh, probably some downscaled version or... Whatever. Yeah, the, the, the first one is electrically heated. It's called Sealer E for electrically heated. So it's not uh, nuclear heated. We feed uh, electrical heat into it to test all the systems, the, the um, lead, the pumps, etc. Everything except for the nuclear side. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, thanks. So I've got a question here. Uh, let's see. Um, we've got a couple of them. That's great. So first, we've got one. In a, in certain countries, there's uh, restrictions on number of reactors you can run. Is it possible to scale this up instead of having a lot of small reactors? Uh, it is, but we decided to go with this and sell multiples. Uh, in Sweden, the legislation currently is just like that. You can only re replace current reactor with uh, one new one. So we would have a problem there. 
but the we, we believe that uh, or uh, let's say I, I i believe that legislation will follow technology so when th this is proven le legislation will change and of course uh, not all we we have a global market for this some countries uh, are not we will not build nuclear power but more and more countries are turning around towards nuclear and the smr market small modular reactor market is uh, is the the buzzword right now thanks uh, let's see here um, can you tell uh, something on the expectation on 20 years without refueling how can you how can you estimate this uh, that has been carefully calculated and uh, we uh, we can change that up and down with the, the power but at 55 megawatt electric uh, that's the the calculation we have and it's it's quite accurate uh, and um, yes i think that also relates to a uh, boost comment what do you mean with external eternal recycling no waste seems to contradict basic physics uh, yes uh, it's the the um breeder fuel cycle uh, means that we take out the the, uh, the used fuel and reprocess it and then it can be reused uh, we have to add a bit of uranium but in, in practice it's it's almost like a um uh, perpetuum mobile there will be uh, absolutely minimal um, waste in the end and and also we don't need to mine more uranium either and, and I, I should say th this is uh, now being built in Russia a, a reactor exactly like this but much bigger uh, in it's called Brest 300 and it will be ready in 2026 and they will uh, recycle the fuel and it's called the closed fuel cycle. Uh, so they, they will um, pave the way for us in this market. So I think in this topic is really of high interest. And like you mentioned in our pre-chat here that the Swedish government will have a decision in 23 minutes or something yeah. to, on whether Sweden will allow for, um, I don't even know the English words, to, to store. Uh, Permanent use. storage. Yeah. yeah, final depository, and the yes, uh, we, we can in, in this reactor we can we can uh, use that fuel because ninety nine percent of the energy is still in the fuel. So, in my opinion, spending hundred billion crowns to bury it is uh, is not uh, the best thing. But uh, it's. It, it, it doesn't matter. We can we can reuse our own fuel or or future fuel from other reactors. If, if we there has to be a reprocessing plant, which is a big investment. But that's the plan we have. We we plan to have three factories in Oskarshamn: one reactor factory and one fuel factory um, and, and one reprocessing factory for the the used fuel. Great. I think as we, we got a couple of extra questions, so I will I will save some more minutes for um, for you. Um, this seems to be a no brainer. What is stopping you? What are the main challenges for this, Ulof? Uh, time. Uh, it's uh, we just need well time and money really. Uh, we we have money, uh, so we could accelerate a bit with more money uh, otherwise the, the this will in my view change the world and that's why i'm i have been invested in this yeah um, but, but, but I, I should say many investors don't like the concept of waiting 10 years for the return now we will do probably an ipo uh, in 6 years from now uh, in order to finance the the factory 
Mm, because I guess it's, this is you don't do this small scale. It it requires a lot of politician decisions, um, all kinds of things being aligned before you can do it. Yeah, and, and my uh, vision is that we should ha have the first uh, on the band fabric. Uh, so this will be uh, so a highly automated uh, mass production factory. So I say this should be the uh, T Ford of the uh, nuclear reactor market. I'll take one more question. What's your view on competition? Uh, yeah, we uh, competition is other technologies mainly, except the Russians who, who do this um, lead cooled as well, uh, which is a good thing. So we are not alone. But they, uh, the theirs is bigger. So. Uh, uh, I, uh, you know, my obsession is to have the best product and highly automated so we can sell it cheaper than anybody else. Uh, so lower price per kilowatt or megawatt. Thanks a lot, Olaf. Uh, I think we'll we get some questions that we can use also in the later um, panel, like setting at the end. That I'll keep. So uh, thanks a lot, Olaf.